Oh, I don't even see you online. Enjoy. Enjoy. I enjoy. I want my car like this because I look like you, and I don't like that. Yeah, it looks gross. Don't be like me. Ooh, I could do this though. It makes it. Whoa. Uh, yeah, black, red, and basically white. Yeah, you better, you better fucking believe it, you bitch. Believe it. So what's up, everybody? How's it going? That snow that we were projected to get this weekend, it says that we're not supposed to get it now. Fucking liars. I had to call into work today again. Oh, that sucks, Angel. The, the, the road's still real bad. <clears throat> Everything is just really slushy. Ew. It was raining like crazy today here. I have to, uh... Oh, he has it. I had, I have to tomorrow work from home for most of the day. Yeah, you're, uh... Dishwasher? Yeah. Is that it? Ah! Oh! They're, they're installing a new dishwasher? Yeah. Me Mexican, I presume. You're getting a, a new Mexican? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, brand new one. Fresh. Oh shit. Never frozen. Yeah, we never, <laughs> we don't freeze our Mexicans here. Um, but like, I, I pretty much am like, well, even if they come right away to my house, I'm probably just going to stay at home and do work shit, so. Just going to do some programming. Oh my god. That was, that was, that was a bit quick. I'm also a little slow right now. I'm tired. I've been mindlessly grinding in Bloodborne. Yeah, I tried to catch a nap today because staying up late watching Bloodborne, and I, I know I'm gonna be up late again tonight. So I tried to I tried to preload some sleep. Yeah, I didn't get to do that oh. today. That was not the hit I wanted out of that. Oh, what the fuck? How was I supposed to predict that? I got a wacky story. Oops. Oopsies. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. A couple of uh, months ago, my grandmother bought one of those ring video doorbells. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like probably like Nest or some shit. It's called Ring. Oh. But I think you know what it is. You know, you yeah. hit the you hit the button, and then uh, you you see it on your phone, and you can talk to them through the speaker and everything. So I set that up for my grandmother, and then she was talking to a friend of hers in, in her neighborhood, and that lady bought one as well, and wanted me to come over and install it for her. So, uh, I did that, and of course she didn't know what her fucking Wi-Fi password was. Oh. She hands me a list, uh, it's just like these scraps of paper that she has a whole bunch of <laughs> things scribbled on. Yeah. Because I'm like, you know, well, what's your Wi-Fi password? And she goes... Uh, and she gave me a password. She goes, 
Uh, you know, that's that's what I use to get into the computer. That's that's what you mean, right? Oh. Your your computer password? Oh god, this is not good. So I, I like I pulled my phone out and just looked at wireless networks, and I I saw her name because her SSID is her own name. Wow. I'm like, uh, yeah, this this is your net. This is your your Wi-Fi internet, right? And she goes, how did you do that? I was like, oh my god. <laughs> You're so smart. I was like, what? That was that was impressive. So, uh, sh none of the scraps of paper had her Wi-Fi password on there, but sh she used uh, a similar variation of these these two words as a lot of her uh, passwords. So I had to just keep trying different combinations of those two words, and eventually I got it. Thank God. Like, I wanted to tell her, hey, you should really not be using the same password for everything, but it was a godsend today. Um, then, then she was like... She, she said, uh, now, can you set it up so that the I have the iPod on my phone and I was uh, like what? and <laughs> you know you've got an Android so just put the song I on I <laughs> don't even know what that means and she goes no no for the doorbell the iPod for the for the doorbell? <laughs> it doesn't play it doesn't play music what? she goes oh no I mean um I mean the amp I was like, oh, you mean the app? She goes, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you called it an iPod? And, and, oh. <laughs> At least amp, I was able to get it. <laughs> but holy shit. Uh, not only, yeah, I wrote, I wrote down her, her name and password. And I also took a picture of it on my phone so that I have it. Um. So yeah, she called it an iPod and then an amp, and then continued to call it an amp, even after I told her it's called an app. But, uh... So, so we got that figured out, got that installed. And then, it, it has like a thing where it's all about, you know, how, how far is the street from the front of your house, because her house faces the road. And it's motion activated, it'll send you an alert every time it senses motion. And that's really annoying if cars are going by and it's sending you an alert every time a car goes by. That's not what you want. You want it for when someone's at your front door. So I was trying to explain to her there are settings that you can change if you're getting a notification too often. And that was that was a very difficult concept for me to explain to her. I was like, it's it's gonna go off whenever someone rings a doorbell. They're just like that's just that's what it does. But it will also do motion sensing stuff because she wants to know when people like pull into her driveway and, and shit. Cause it, there's like a bunch of people that come to her house and stuff. Anyways, she she was complaining about this guy like Mike or something, and she was telling me we have to be careful because he can hear everything you say. He can hear I was everything. Like, uh, yeah, and I was like, oh boy, are we dealing with the conspiracy theory thing? And she's like, he was he was in the military, so he's he's installed all sorts of stuff. And I was like, oh, fuck, <laughs> is she losing her mind? <laughs> uh, it, and I was like, I was like, well, you know, it, she she was like, he's he's got it all like on this on uh, the, the computer. He's he installed it, so I I know he can <sighs> see everything, he can hear everything. And I was like, well. He, you know, most computers don't like have like a. I was like, if it's a desktop, it's not gonna have uh, a face cam built in. Like, generally, they don't have a microphone or a camera to see you or hear you. I was like, it's po it's very possible that he installed one, but uh, but like you you know, if you want to just take a look at your computer, it may not have anything like that for him to actually spy on you. So she said, "Okay, come in and take a look." And it wasn't a it wasn't a computer. It was an actual camera. It, it was like an in-home security camera thing that's hooked up to the internet. 
It's got oh, like an okay. Ethernet cord going to it. That like it's literally that's what it's for is is like an in-home camera and audio thing. I was like, why the fuck did you let this guy put this in your house? And it's connected to the internet, so he can just all he has to do is like log in to like spy on you. Holy shit! What? And she goes, yeah, whenever, uh, uh, cause, cause like, th this one guy, it, like, her son, who used to be a drug addict, but he's, he's, like, getting himself sober now, so he's living with her, and she's like, whenever he comes home, I, I put this thing face down, because, uh, the guy that installed this, Mike, I don't want him to, like, know anything about this dude, I was like, put, put him in camera face down, so I can do anything when... And this thing's got audio too, like you'll be able to hear. I was like, holy shit, what kind of crazy ass situation do you have going on here? Why did she even let him do that? Like, uh, yeah, that's that's what I'd like to know. But apparently he's friends with her son who, uh, g uh like does things for her and gives her money and shit. So she feels like she can't say anything bad about this other guy who was in the military and is apparently spying on her i i don't know i was i was just overwhelmed by the whole thing but i, I was like if you don't want him to hear anything you need to like pull this ethernet cord out of the back and i was like here I, I just pulled it out and i was like yeah now it's now it's not connected to the internet anymore that was and then i started thinking like i wonder if it's got some kind of wi-fi receiver in it as well so i i just like unplugged it from the wall well, a person, a person that is like baffled when you're trying to explain like motion sensing to them, I don't, I guess they're not going to be smart enough to make any sort of decisions. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> the concept of motion she, sensing. She's like, is, an, she's like an older lady. Sure. Not, like elderly, but it's just all of this shit is is way over her head you know and, it, and i'm trying to trying to help her out like like i i wanted to ask the whole time like why the fuck are you letting this guy do this to you uh because she had a, she has a computer that she's terrified to even plug the power cord in because uh she, she thinks he's she, she's like uh he'll be able to get my credit card information and stuff and i was like i mean if he's been in your computer and he knows anything about it, I was like, I guess it could be some kind of key logger for passwords or some shit that he could have installed. But like, I went from going, wow, this lady's a conspiracy nut job to like, holy shit, I don't know, maybe. I mean, she, she's, it's not really a conspiracy when you like, when the government walks <laughs> up and says, hey, can we put some lizard people in here? <laughs> See that was uh that was very bizarre. That was just a really bizarre like thing. This is the first time I've ever met this lady too. But uh thank god she like trusted me. So how many cameras did you install in its place? For oh, your purposes. Man. Go ahead. I was talking to Ricky today because Ricky's just like, oh, hold on, you seem to miss the best part. Because you didn't want your potatoes to burn. Ooh. It was a, it was a crazy. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, it was, it was a, it was a whopper. Like, so I was talking to Ricky. Ricky's like, man, I just don't get memes. <laughs> and he's on like Reddit. He's like, dude, I don't, I don't get this. And it was like, um, it was some meme that basically said, "What is true love?" Question, and then answer, and then somebody put an answer down, somebody else, right? Mm. And the answer was, uh, um, like, I, I quit being subscribed to some like subreddit or some shit, so that. My uh, husband. Oh, I saw that on r slash wholesome. Yeah, so like that was really nice. Something like my husband can be like, he can, can tell me this shit. Me. Yeah, my husband can send me memes that I haven't seen because yeah. I, I like I, I, I'm purposely unsubscribing so that I don't see them before he sends them to me. 
Yeah, and uh, uh, Ricky's like, I don't get this. I was like, well, <laughs> he, he, she's basically, oh, shit. He's like, she's basically giving him the power to like make her happy by like manually unsubscribing to these things, so like he could show it to her and be like, isn't this funny? It's it's just jokes. It's it's like saying, I'm not gonna listen. I'm not gonna go to this stand with comedian because my husband's gonna retell them. Oh, they re like missed. tell me those jokes that he thought was good. Yeah. And he he just shows me a lot of other memes. He's like, I don't I don't get this one. I'm like, how how do you not get it? He's like, well, you're all subscribed to this pop culture stuff. I'm like, I'm not though. Like, I just hear it from. I'm just on the internet a little bit. Like more than more than a tiny bit, I'm on the internet. Like, and I just read the I read like these memes, and I just kind of go, all right, I like I I understand this. I figured it out. It's not hard. There's there's not some like advanced knowledge I needed. I di I didn't need to know the lore book to the Lord of the Rings <laughs> in order to get this meme. The the lore book of the internet. Yeah. I saw one where it was like, oh, damn. uh, she like it's the girls. Ah, oh, this has been a hell of a game. Fuck yeah, nicely done. All right, you got all of our goals. That was a fun little play there. She's like uh, whispering in his ear. <laughs> um, I, I won't leave you when your mental illness. Uh, takes over or something like that like gets the better of you and like the next picture is like goosebumps coming up on his arm <laughs> there, there was like he was telling me though he's just like am i just like out of touch i'm like probably you're not on the internet ever like you're yeah you're i was like what do you do in your free time he's like i watch hockey games i'm like yeah that's it like that's your exposure to anything is hockey games like, while I have people that come into chat, and we have the Discord, that, like, people exchange memes, and then I'm on Reddit a little bit. Um, and I'm only in my subreddits, but, like, I can still figure out these memes without... Mm-hmm. Like... And a lot of it has, like, an ironic sense of humor, too. Like, a lot of times something's funny because it's dumb as fuck and not actually clever, and that's why yeah. it's kind of funny. Yeah. But it's not, like, difficult to figure out, either. It's just... It's just kinda... Internet humor. Man, the guys on r slash NFL are some money... Money father muckers. Money father muckers. Yeah, that's... That's what my brain wanted to say. Money... <laughs> Funny motherfuckers. <laughs> and, uh... And uh, it's it's almost sometimes it feels like I'm just watching NFL just so I can better appreciate the jo oh, shit, better appreciate the jokes in that subreddit. What a pinch! He's the, he uh, he's like I, he's like I, ah fuck. He's like, I subscribed to the, uh... Oh, no! I was trying to get out of the way! He's like, I, I subscribed to the NHL subreddit and everything. I'm like, see, you get some exposure there. But, like, he... <laughs> I don't know, he's, he's... He's weird. He's like, he posted a thing the other day that was just like... This one guy said, oh, this guy's the best blank player in whatever position. Prove me wrong. So Ricky said... He's washed up and overrated. Uh, there's your proof. <laughs> and so we got 20 down votes. <laughs> you just stated an opinion. I was like, yeah, and also, this guy's like, I like this guy. And then you say, yeah, no, he's, he's shit, though. Are you... <laughs> like, if you had said, like, his performance in such and such game, or, like, his overall goals have gone down, something... All you said was that he's he's washed up. <laughs> this is a bit... 
very weird conversations with that guy. Also, if, if that particular subreddit likes that player, then yeah, you're, you're not yeah, going to yeah. get any support. Just calling him washed up. Yeah, the it's like one of the more popular players on the team right now. Because if, if the sub hates that player, then then that comment would have worked, even though it lacked any actual argument and was just yeah. you stating your opinion. It, it's like the, the hive mind will definitely reward you for, for thinking the same way they do. Somebody posted in pics. Oh, I didn't leave pics up because it had that awful picture awful of a foot, foot lady. Which even I don't like. <laughs> I have no, no hatred oh. for feet. What? No, no hatred for feet, but uh, that was too much. Picks. Ooh, yeah, don't load. Yeah, thanks. Oh, there it goes. Too much, man. That's very too much, man. <laughs> it's. It's just the. Oh, it's too many men on the field or whatever in the rink and they got a penalty for it but they called it too much man uh, so the pit yeah. that guy he, he's too much man that's great I'm the too much man oh I thought the other guy was going to hit it Did I did I ask for like a? There's one for you, Sunbro. Was I, I? I had no boost. Did I say something about hockey players? A meme. He's probably just say, probably saying a meme. Oh, just like a, like a hockey meme. Man, the R slash Lions have some incredible memes. They're uh, they're not a very Rock. good team. But, yeah, right. uh, but they're known for being the best, like, shit posters. <laughs> they actually went, like, 0-16 one year. They, they literally didn't win a single game. Which is very rare. I said something about hockey moves. Okay. I don't remember that. But you're probably right. Whoopsies. I got a little, little, little too close there, I think. Yeah, I think you did. I, it feel, feels feels kind of like I got too close to you. Oops. Now that I actually have boost. Oh, damn it! Um. See, I, I was talking about Ricky's world and how he's like not culture cultured. He. It was like basically his day involves him like waking up, taking his kid to hockey practice, getting off work. His kid might have a hockey game or some shit after work, as well as guitar lessons. And um, and then he like walks his dog Damn it. and like does all this other shit. I'm like, man, all that sounds real boring. <laughs> like. <laughs> You don't have much time to do, like, other shit. <laughs> Fun shit. Like, I, like, I like to do things that, like, exercise my mind or, like, relax my mind. And, like, no real in-between. And the relaxing my mind is, like, Gundams. And then he, oh, he also, I ran out of boost. He also watches TV. Like Netflix. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, no. Just, just slam it in there. What? <laughs> this is a, I hate this game. I'm not paying that much attention, but still. I don't know how anyone could watch actual TV anymore. Yeah. It, it is, it's like two minutes straight of commercials. I, I I'm barely putting up with it for football, and that's that's because I find something to do during the commercials. Fuck me. I browse uh, Reddit or I play a game or something. 
I, I don't mind the two minutes of commercials. Oh! Because most of the time when I'm doing shit, um, like when I'm watching TV wow. or whatever, <coughs> mm -hmm. I'm doing like, I'm doing other shit at the same time. Yeah, I get that, so. but like, like my parents every night, like after after everything else is done, they'll like start watching CSI whatever, right? And just sit through, and it's it's like a two minute block of commercials every ten or fifteen minutes. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah, an hour of, of television only has about forty minutes or so of of content it's crazy and they just they just put up with it they put up with the same fucking commercials night after night to watch the same shitty content it's just rotting away no oh you bastard i had that yeah yeah score that Damn, we were down 4-2 with less than a minute to go. I just had to hit it before this guy. That's He's boring. boring. <laughs> what, what, what do you want? This is Rocket League. Should have typed that. That would have been great. <laughs> uh, why does my stream still say starting soon? Uh. Because you uh, didn't refresh. You're a painted Artemis GXT thing. I got a painted, like, bitey wheel. What's that thing called? With, like, the eyeball and the mouth. I can't imagine, like, at the end of my day, just sitting down and watching, like, CBS shows. It, it just that like same it was like shitty like sitcom shows yeah this I, I don't I'm not a fan of those sitcoms like just the format and like the and like the laugh track with the with the audi the audience laughter stuff even even like not just like sitcoms but like you know the, the dramas the late night dramas like CSI mm -hmm. or they are they're all lawyers or murder investigators. And just and do that every night. And they don't like, they just don't seem that intelligent. Like they don't, they don't take it to like to the next level that I want them to take it. You know what I mean? Like they have to keep it mildly, like safe for, uh, um, for a general audience. And talking about like. Um, like 24 or whatever the fuck mm -hmm. not like the actual here's a summary of some murder investigation shows oh they yeah have on, like, like discovery true Channel crime true crime is great uh the uh i've I listened to a bunch of true crime podcasts they're fantastic making a murderer on netflix was really interesting i'm talking about like and i used to watch i watched of a bunch of seasons of the original CSI. Hell, I used to watch fucking Survivor back in the day. I used to watch all that shit when I was a kid, but yeah, now it's like it. there's so much good content on the internet now that all of that stuff is so boring by comparison. This, this match has been awful. What the fuck? Maybe, maybe I'm boring, but I'd rather watch like a video essay. <laughs> oh yeah, like, yeah, like there's so much good shit on YouTube where you learn something. Instead of, uh, like, there's so, there's like, if you want to check for me, Angel, check how many seasons of NCIS there are. Because <laughs> my mom's been watching since the beginning. I don't know how you can watch. Oh, god damn it. What is with this match? This match has been awkward for me, too. It's run into people. I, I don't know how many more times you can watch a storyline. Sumber has oh. left the party. Uh, I didn't get that. 
So maybe it's all. Yeah, it might be on your end that time. I don't know how many times you can watch Six a story. Did you say 16? Yeah. Did Angel type that in chat? Because I don't see that. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, at least I'm still on Discord. My internet is fucking up. Oh, there it is. There are 16. And like each one of those is like 20 some episodes, I think. It's a it's an absurd number of of episodes. Like how many how many times can you watch a story about a dude that's been murdered? Angel likes crime shows. What kind of they have new baddies all the time? Well, yeah. What do you, what do you like about what what kind of crime show do you like? Do you like the 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 NCISs or like the true crime shit? I know you like Supernatural, but that's like a drama. That's that's like an actual like show show. That's like fake crime. That's, <laughs> that's uh, I yeah, I would I would watch the shit out of something like Supernatural over those like weekly serial kind of network shows. My mom's still watching General Hospital. Like Jesus fuck. Because she told me, she's like, the Stargate actor was on General Hospital, like, this week. Like, check it out. I'm like, oh. Aww. She knows how much she loves Stargate. That's sweet. Well, she, it's because she also loves Stargate. She, she's the one who got me into it. Oh, wow. My parents are not into sci-fi. Fuck. Got bumped. It's not so much that I don't like crime shows. Like, true crime stuff is really interesting. Uh, did, uh, Sherlock Holmes is, like, one of my favorite characters ever. I, I like crime as a genre. I don't like those shitty-ass weekly serials that are, like, they, they feel, like, made by committee. It feels like the network just comes in and, like, reads off what each demographic is into right now. And they, they have like a Mad Libs thing where they just like insert freaking. Yeah. Alright, what's what's wrong with the killer? What's what where did they find thing? Alright, go. Oh! I actually was trying to pinch it with him. No time to get something. I like the true crime stuff. They also stuff like NCIS. I I used I to watch NCIS. I watched like the first two or three seasons, but I, I couldn't do that anymore. I used to love Law and Order. I did, yeah, I can't do it anymore. I don't feel that the, uh... I, I don't know, I... I think also the, um... The characters, I don't really, like, get invested into. Like, the, you know, the that episode's wife or whatever the fuck. Or like, oh, yeah, the, you know, the the dad killed the kid. And uh, and I'm just like, yeah, I know that sucks, but, like, I don't have any attachment to this dad. So, like, I don't I don't care. And, like, like one of the detectives is like, my kid died once. And I'm just like, yeah, but... The characters are very poorly written on those those weekly shows. They, they have to be because they crank them out so fast. Yeah. But also like just that, like that, uh, that remake of Guyver and shit like that. Just in general, though, like at live action shows, they don't put enough like I don't I don't get bonded with the characters in live action shows anymore. It seems. Well, it just you, you probably would if they had better. Like fucking House was in, immaculate. I have every episode of House on DVD. That show is so good. Uh, Breaking Bad is incredible. Like we're in the golden age of of television right now. There's so many good TV shows that are written that are like actually meant, you know, meant to be good media. I'm Mad Men and Boardwalk Empire, all all that shit. 
At this point, I like anime way more. Not even because it's like Japanese necessarily, but like the format, the the over exaggeration of emotions and junk, the fact that it's animation, and so that they can really. Um, uh, emphasize things and make fun yeah, of scenarios. I still see you on my main, main menu there. Yeah, that's what that's what happens to me every time. It's the reverse. Yeah, Angel can only could watch a couple seasons herself, not all sixteen. I, I actually thought too. it was up to like twenty, but there were like twenty seasons of that. I liked Scrubs, but I didn't like get invested in the characters when they had emotional moments. I just liked how goofy a lot of the scenarios were. Right. I love Scrubs. Scrubs, The Office, Parks and Rec. I've been sucked into all those. But those are all shows that I I, I just classify them at like a higher level than your dumbass network shows. some about live action you like yeah I'm, you know the, people get like more uh, immersed in it too because of being the fact that it's just people and I, I just think that it, it it can be more realistic like well yeah very, very few anime are grounded in reality they they're all they're all they all get a little bit nuts so and I like that, but I don't want that for everything I watch, you know? I like that. Whatever I'm in the mood for. I like that with most things. Plus, like, humans, you know, there, there's some subtlety in, like, in human shit that we do that they don't draw in animation a lot. You know, like, a, a, even tiny little tweaks in facial oh, uh, yeah. expression and. Yeah, acting. <laughs> acting, yeah. Not even, not even necessarily acting either. Like, just, just like part of being a human. You know, oh, they're doing this flip. thing. Um. Jesus fuck, that was fast. So I even, I even think about that. That's my fault. I fucked that up. I mean, I, I like both a lot. Uh, I would say that there have been more live action shows like Breaking Bad and House and the Ozarks and Game of Thrones. I've been way more impressed with the quality of those overall than the, the average thing I've watched in anime. But there are things in anime that yeah, there there are anime shows that I've loved, like ten out of ten. So I, I, I don't I don't even know if I necessarily have a preference. I've just found more live action stuff that I've been happy with. I am just fucking up all over the place, taking the ball from you and teammate. What the hell am I doing? Thinking about what I'm saying and not what I'm doing. <laughs> doing a really bad job of it. Nice. Just waiting for that one. You can see me just just looming. I had a uh, I had a phone call today. Gross. And it was your Verizon account has been suspended. Please <laughs> Do you press. Have Verizon. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, please press, you know, this number to speak with a customer service representative. And I'm like, yeah, this is a scam. <laughs> like, I yeah, immediately I, I know this is a bunch scam. Of times and I don't even have Verizon. That's always great. Really? Yeah. I uh, so I I told my parents right away. I was like, hey, uh, so I you know I just got a scam thing saying that my account's suspended. Like. Mm -hmm. It's clearly not. I'm texting you guys, <laughs> and you guys are the primary ac primary account holders. They wouldn't <laughs> be contacting me. Ah. 
if, if, if there was something wrong with the account, they would be contacting you guys. And so, uh, I was like, just, just be careful. Don't. Yeah, one of the most important things is that if you ever hear about a problem with your account, like log into the account yourself, don't follow whatever link the thing that's saying it's fucked up is. Yeah. They, they know that too, so. That's good. So my mom has almost gotten caught by a couple of those because she gets like real paranoid. Ah, my finger slipped. Shit. There was like one that was saying like <sighs> one from uh, her bank that she was really getting paranoid about. I was like, no, just log in to our account online. If there was a problem, it would say it there. The uh, I've been getting like stuff about student loan. You like your student That's loan nice. can be. Uh, refinanced. This is your last opportunity. It's like you've been, you've you've been calling me about this for the last three months. This isn't my last. This opportunity. is last opportunity. <laughs> Same with my uh, car's warranty. Your car's extended warranty yeah, is about to expire. I get that one all the time. Car's extended warranty. I also know that one's bullshit. Yep. It's like I don't have an extended warranty. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't have one. Yeah, robocalls are actually getting to be, like, kind of a serious issue. And then They're it's becoming, like... Uh, like, more and more prevalent. Yeah. I hit a number, and it's like, it will take you off the list if you hit this number, and then they just turn it into another... Like, a different one that is just a different recording, and call back another day. It's dumb. Um... But uh, as I told my parents, and they, then they were like, "Oh well, I got a text about the bill," and I'm like, "Well, that's probably not it, mom. That's like, <laughs> that, that's probably legit. Like that, they're doing a bill." Um, and then she's, then my dad's like, "Well, I read a thing about someone got called by the same exact number, and they had suspicious charges on their account. Maybe we should check our bank account." And I'm like, "Oh God." Um, so, like, they, they went to the bank, <laughs> and they checked their bank account, and everything was fine. I'm like, oh, yeah. all right. Like, I mean, it doesn't hurt to check, I doesn't guess. doesn't hurt. If it gives you, gives you peace of mind, go ahead and check. But, you know, if, if it says no reply, the, you know, that's most likely legit, because, you know, you're, that's going to be an automated message from the actual service. That's, that's one thing. And, and, uh. Also, if if they use your your name in the thing, like I, th I think there was like PayPal has all sorts of ones, and PayPal will have like your email, and it will like address you by your name inside the email. And a lot of the scam ones don't; they just they just have the PayPal logo and shit, but they don't actually. Oh, teammate! Nice yeah, that. yeah, and all these robocalls, like they, none of them have any information. They don't have my right. name. They yeah. don't. Just trying to scare you. Yep. I haven't watched Kit Boga in forever. Me neither. I've, been, I've wanted to, but... Just don't... Not only are you getting several almost every single day, but it's gotten better. That's good. It's gotten better. Ah. There was like a... I think it was John Oliver that did a special on robocalls and how... how insane they're getting. Well, and how, uh... Only like two of the top ten worst offenders are actually scamming scammers, like like legit sites, like they, like that credit score one is actually the worst offender. I don't I don't have that. Ooh. Yeah. It's funny because people hardly use their phones for calls anymore. Yeah. Oh! oh ho, ho. Teammate! <laughs> Dancing up there. A couple of yeah, at this point, I would probably just watch like some of his edited content on his YouTube channel. I wouldn't go in on Twitch anymore or 
watch like the full length things. Just if he has like a 15 or 20 minute video, I might watch that. I haven't even done that though. Oh, ho, 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 I almost dunked his ass. I, that's all I watched. I never watched any of his full length ones. I, uh, I kind of, as I do with a lot of YouTube channels, I kind of, like, mowed through just a shitload of it until I got burnt out. Yeah. you out of the way then. That, that's fine. I don't have that. Yeah, I, I used to watch like an entire call from start to finish. Uh, I wasn't saying that like you guys were doing that. Is when spam leaves you a voicemail and it starts in the middle of the bot's message, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 shitty uh answer detection on their their bot system. Hmm. Man, man, so like we used to have to do these like robocalls uh back at the call center and we'd have to have people like standing by for them, right? And uh but there were like like political ones for like political ads and because of these states rules they had like no rules against um calling people because they had rules with like cold calls and retention calls that you could only call like a certain amount of day mm -hmm. and um certain times of the day you can't call in the middle of the night and shit like that um I thank the the tcpa for that uh, the Teleconsumer mm. Protection Act. Um, What's that? Sometimes regulations are actually a good thing? Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, the, the Do Not Call list, that's another good one. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, only the legit ones will actually adhere to that. <laughs> well, like, if, if they don't, they can get, like, fined and shit. Right, you but uh, the ones that are scamming are obviously already doing illegal shit. Yeah, and a lot well, and they're probably in a different country, so a lot of that shit's not gonna matter to them. Ah that was too close. The prime directive is to swim close. But with these robocalls there was like no rules, so we we just like Alright, we just called twenty thousand people with that last list. Alright, just put the list right back on and do it again. Oh god damn. And like the call center got like a it, we got a lot of money for it. They loved it. That's pretty fucked up. I always get the political ones. And and the automated texts too. Oh boy. I don't get the automated texts. I hardly ever get political stuff. The, uh... That, like, answer detection is not just on, like, robocalls, but it's on basically any outbound call when you're at the call center. So, like... Because how, how the lists work is they they have a, a system dial numbers and uh, the agents kind of sit there and then when when somebody answers the uh, oh, oh Jesus that was scary when somebody answers then the uh, the system then sends it to an agent. So it's kind of kind of interesting. Did I tell you 
about that time where a guy signed up for a church's like message board thing where like he was offering his services to help uh, people do like stuff around the house or like, like uh, handyman type work but he put my number <laughs> I don't oh. know if he did it by mistake or if he just wanted the optics of posting his number oh no he just wanted it to look like he was gonna help people but he just put a random number and I got unlucky enough to be that random number but for a couple of weeks I was getting all these calls from that church of people asking for help that sucks. I was like, can you, can you like change the message that's on your, your like board, your tack board or whatever? Cause I'm not helping anyone out. Fuck off. I got, I got the phone number of, uh, my neighbors, my, my neighbor got rid of their cell phone. And like two months later, I got her number when, when I got a cell phone. And so for probably two to three years after that, I was getting calls for her a lot. I was just like, no, I'm not her, but like yeah. she li she lives down the street. Like, it was just crazy because the people at the at Verizon they're just like, oh, well, you're not. It's not supposed to be back in the system for another six months. Oh yeah, I remember you talking about that. It's like I don't, I don't think your system is working right then or something. <gasps> yeah. It was nuts because she's like, you actually knew her. Yeah. Out of all the numbers in the area code, you give me that one. Yeah. Just like change your voicemail to be like, I'm, I'm not her, so if that's <laughs> who you're calling for, fuck off. Ugh. I'm missing a lot. That's cool, they're gonna add uh, all the other game modes to free play. I'm kind of surprised they haven't added that before. Yeah. And, uh, I'm excited about that double XP, double painted weekend. Ooh, yeah. yeah. And, and finally the fucking friends list. Yeah. After all this time. I obviously don't care about playing with people on other consoles, but I'm excited if it means I don't, if we're going to have that interface so we don't have to use Steam anymore. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't like disconnect us from parties. Yeah, that too. Oh. It kind of sucks that they lost their uh, in-game event or whatever that they're gonna do. Mm -hmm. They weren't able to do it. Ah, uh, tried to bump the goalie. God damn it! It's a slippery mess. Damn it! I said, bro. I went up for that, yeah. I really thought. <sighs> really thought I could help push it in. all yours anyways I got about 117 blood vials in Bloodborne now damn but I'm like the, also that battle with the bullets like I was almost out of bullets like it, in general God. like I had one left but I think I had like uh, I think I had like five in my box so I now have like 20 something bullets. That's still not a lot. No. I 
I, I, I still do not see a good argument for why you have to grind for that shit. No, there, there, there really is none. They, they literally did it in the previous games. Totally fine. Yeah, Estus is like a really elegant, well-made solution. Oh, he's shooting it towards me too. Imagine if you had to grind for potions and Monster Hunter. Yeah. Oh no. I think you kind of had to do that in the past, didn't you? Like you had to go on expeditions or whatever to get more or some shit. But now we can like tree it up. Yeah, that tree is so nice. Especially when you get your third ingredient that you can farm. Yeah. I haven't actually switched out the stuff on my tree quite yet. What do you mean? Like, for, for a while, I've had the same thing, uh, so I prob I'm probably, like, good. Probably have a <laughs> shitload of... What, what did you put in there? I don't remember. <laughs> that's the, that's the oh problem. I hope you put one uh, uh, dragon seed thing. Or uh, mite seed, whatever the fuck it's called. Because those are, those are worth a lot. You can make some serious cash with those. I usually do honey. Honey is used for the mega potions and for like other stuff. I change mine all the time though. I kinda gotta pee. Have you been clearing your box out? Uh yeah, I've been uh, I've been cleaning the box you out. Just, you just said okay, so you have been getting a bunch of the same shit. Yeah, I I, I every single time it's just like your box is full. I'm like, well, shit, and I run over there. But I usually get it beforehand. Here, B. Okay, perp. Yeah, I just don't change out the uh, materials there, Angel, to something else that I might need. Can't wake up. Wake me, you can't wake up. Wake me up and can't wake up. Wake me up and can't wake up. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty's favorite artist, uh, Evanescence. Can't wake up. That's why. That's why she 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 was asleep. She couldn't she couldn't wake up. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I like how in the song it's almost like he's like cutting her off. 
can't wake up. It's like, no, it's my my turn to sing. Oh, uh, it's it's shitty watercolor guy. Well, the, the avatar, not the actual guy. That was so cool that we got to play with him that one time. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty neat. Spring up the meme mousy for us. What? That's where Mousy came from. Really? It was that match? Yep. His friend was named Mousy, and she had zero points. Holy shit, I forgot about that. In, in a fucking chaos match. That's right, it was chaos. Probably the last Mousy we'll ever see. Good save. No. <laughs> I blocked a man. Whoops. All right, teammate. I was clearly trying to get out of the way. But you could be shitty if you want. It's fine too. Yeah, yeah, pass in front of our net. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, teammate, gotta go for boost. You're the one in net. What the hell? Oh, he was behind me and he bumped me. We didn't uh, really talk about it, but that uh, that potholer video, where uh... oops, <laughs> it, it's crazy how that story morphed over time on the internet. Yeah, and uh, all the way to the point of them like filming oops. that commercial or whatever with the dude standing there in the destruction or whatever that that was. Yeah. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that was, uh... And it's crazy that people just believe anecdotal, like, stories like that. Just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I heard a guy once did this. And people just automatically believe it. Anything I hear that's anywhere out of the ordinary, I'm like, yeah, right. Yeah, show yeah. it to me, though. <laughs> show me the proof. Skepticism... Should uh, in this day and age should be uh, what? It, oh fuck! I was looking at chat. Um, I highly recommend Potholer's channel, Angel. But uh, the story is that uh, in the one in the uh, when the bomb dropped on Japan, one of the two—I don't remember which—that there was this. Uh, group of eight Catholic priests that were only a mile from the blast zone and yet they were completely unscathed. Well, they had like minor cuts and bruises whereas everyone else around them was obviously obliterated and they didn't suffer any what the fuck is teammate doing? They didn't suffer any radiation damage either from the bomb which you know sounds pretty unbelievable but they they said it like they were always doing their whatever prayer the like rosary or whatever hail mary's yeah. their hail mary's i think uh, i guess um even even back in the day when i was in there we thought catholics were oh what the fuck happened there what the shit Man, I don't have it today. Uh, so yeah, um, first of all, it turns out that there were four guys, four, four priests there, not eight. 
Uh, it turns out that they were way farther than one mile from They're the like, blast zone. I think there was something like four miles, and and there was a hill in between uh, them. That was. I think that was a, the other four where there was a hill and everything. I think that was the other four dudes. That was like a second story, I think. But the point is, is that in the area where they were, there was a survival rate of like 48%. For 48% of the people in that zone uh, survived. So it's, you know, it's really not surprising at all that they, they were okay, okay, relatively okay. okay. We'll get to the injuries in a second. Uh, but it like their their building was double braced for earthquakes because you know those happen a lot in Japan Yeah, so uh, that's a, that's probably why the building didn't collapse like a lot of other buildings did and uh, They also said that They were completely uh, unscathed except for like a few minor injuries, but that's bullshit because one dude was cut so badly that uh, they thought he was gonna die due to lack, uh, loss of blood and at least right. one dude also had serious radiation poisoning, so that that part wasn't true either. Uh, so yeah, just surprise, surprise. It, it's a story about how some priests were some some Catholic priests were in Japan when the bomb went off and had injuries. Became they all survived. The nuclear explosion unscathed it just it's like slowly morphed over time after each time it got retold to the point where they're like selling the prayer beads or whatever and shit that like uh th this is what those guys were doing and it saved them from a nuclear bomb imagine what it can do for you yeah they're they're the rosaries that so they can do their hail mary prayers mm-hmm those sucked. They're like, yeah, just say the fucking prayer 500 times for each bead. Like, Fuck you, man. Even even back in the day, we always thought we were better than the Catholics. We always thought they were idiots that they had it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's one of the funniest things is that you can get two Christians in a room together that are different denominations and uh, and get them to to fight harder than like they would with an atheist <laughs> like arguing the the finer details of shit can be uh even more of a a battle than whether like it's uh, even real they all think they've got it right Thank God. I've had to go to a mass a couple times. I don't know a whole lot of that. We, we used to do it um, went to Florida for Christmas. My, my aunt is, is Catholic and she would drag my cousin to it. So I would go too. And God, it's so boring. Angel, you thought rosaries were pretty? I think they're okay. <laughs> But yeah, fucking Catholic mass or whatever you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're pretty boring. You're not getting anything out of it. Like at least, like as shitty as it was when I went, they were like trying to teach you lessons, and you were like, you felt like you were part of a club that you were like learning stuff. You go to Catholic stuff is just reciting the same shit in Latin over and over again. That's not what ours did. Ours was the parables where they have lessons. Yeah, sure, they they do they do have that as well, but we didn't we didn't have oh. any Latin whatsoever. Oh wow, well just a lot of Catholic stuff that I've seen and been to is just a bunch of reciting. It's like this, you're just filling time until it's over. Holy shit! What's up, virus? Virus! Oh hey, oh, how you doing? Let's do a quick virus scan. Yep, there there it is. Yep, there it is. That. Yep, there it is. Just do a virus scan where like Komochi bot just goes like yes, virus is in jet. <laughs> <Just laughs> yeah, he's real simple, real lame. Just like 
Yes, he's in chat, or no, not in chat. I, God, I really want to find a sound command for it, but I can't. I can't think of one. Maybe uh, some kind of like shitty Hollywood, like oh. overproduced, <laughs> kind of like. Yeah. I, I just thought of one for Chiyo, Chiyu, though. Do tell. The Shikamaru's. It's a drag. Oh, yeah. It's also great because he my... doesn't like Naruto. So. <laughs> it's my favorite Naruto character. Dude, thanks, buddy. Shikamaru is the best. I don't think that was it. No, it was not. It was definitely not. I just like... I, I, it's so hard for me to think of these things. Personalized ones. It's okay. Thinking's hard. I get it. Yeah. It's real hard. You don't hurt don't like to feel bad. I'd have one for Angel, but I, I don't know where to start with Angel. <laughs> I have no idea. Mm. Mm. Like I, I know I know Angel's interests and stuff, just like no no phrase like stands out in my head or sound clip. Uh, she's really big into Santa Claus, so ho ho ho. Oh yeah. I could have the Rocket League boost. Wow, that was this was, this was dumb. I that I pre jumped. <laughs> I mean I'm like Whoop, whoop, whoop. Got him. Are you saying ho 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 like the evil, like an evil anime girl's laugh? Ho 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 ho. That sort of thing. Woo. <laughs> Just freestyling off the wall like an idiot. Yeah. Uh... Oop. I was trying to pinch. Get a good cookser pinch. Remember that shit? We could talk. We could say cookers. Mm -hmm. That was just a poke fun at Sean, really. Yeah, but I still, I still like it. I still like calling them cooksers. Yeah. Because the people had no idea what like, we were talking. That's about. why we haven't really said it much in a while. Yeah. It lost its bite. Now it's, now it's just part of lore. Lost to the annals of time. Good one. Remember, Cat and Kate thought it was potentially annals. <laughs> it's dangerously close, like yeah. an annal. It just sounds like you're trying to be fancy about saying anal. Yeah. Ooh, it's like you're trying to be like pretentious about your anal. Honey, would you like to do some anal? We later? we popped down to the south of France for a spot of anal. And you can uh, pleasure my kitty cat, if you know what I'm oh, saying. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know why kitty cat is. I was, I, I was like, what? How do you make pussy like slang? I was like, maybe back to its roots. <laughs> it's you know, it's it's a lot. It's a lot more pleasant sounding than like flick the bean. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it fits. It, it fits with where that joke was going. <laughs> it just sounded really funny. <laughs> the kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> just did not at all what I was expecting you to say. <laughs> ah. Oh, 
What would, would be penis? I don't. I don't even know. His baguette. I guess I'm really stuck on the French now. <laughs> Maybe Aww. like a Angus. Maybe a premium cut of Angus. Oh, there's dudes that are named Angus. I don't want to name my dick after another dude. Wait, Dick's Dick's already Richard. Oh no. You just refer to someone as pussy. Oh. Read a book once. Maybe Anne. I don't have boost. Called a relative pussy. No, I was trying to pop it way out and I passed it to him. Ah, because it grazed off the roof of my car instead of you hit you my call nose. A young girl relative pussy as a pet name. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted I, to pop it out. I think I would die. If I did that, like, accidentally. I see. I'm st still still never doing that. Oh, okay, of, of the time period. Okay, that makes more sense, yeah. He, he ejaculated. <laughs> oh my god. god damn. Oh, I got the boost, bitch. By Joe Watson, he ejaculated. Yeah, when it, whenever I Oh, I fucked him. No. Yeah, whenever I ejaculate, I say "by Jove." By Jove. Uh, pop down for a spot of the oar in and out. The hanky panky. I'm getting bumped quite come a on, lot. Come on, come on, come on. I, I ran, ah! I ran a goddamn so many boost. overtime games today. Yeah. Oh, that's you. Nope, it's not me. My eye! Just, there's a thing in it. Alright, Angel, well, I'm also playing Rocket League, so, you know. Not brain's not like exactly working at 100% capacity right now. My eyeballs aren't working at 100% capacity right now. Your Alzheimer's is working at 100% capacity? What did, you, what did you say? Eyeballs, oh. <laughs> My Alzheimer's <laughs> working at 100 capacity right now. Ah, oh, I can't. I just can't. I can't anymore. I just. I give up. I think I have like an eyelash or something shitty in there. Oh, fuck, I missed. That's really bugging me. I, I need... I need, I need, I need this game to end. I need the, the tension to be released. Excuses, excuses, yeah. so many saves holy shit I have six I got double savior that's not gonna happen up so much boost I cannot hit this because I don't have the skill. Right, boost. Somebody's gotta make a mistake eventually. 
We've made plenty. Just they make equal amounts. <laughs> Pressure's changing. I can feel it. Ah, oh, why'd you do that? This isn't even my final form. Ooh, okay. What the fuck? Why did nobody go for that? I don't know, but I bumped a guy in net. Okay, okay, okay. No, that's fucking. <laughs> Teammates being real cautious and then not being cautious. I don't know what he's doing. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, this could be it. Nope. No. Ah! Ah! No! Release me! Five and a half minutes of overtime. Alright, we need to get the guy off the bench and trade me out. Stick a fork in him, he's done. Do it, do it. I bumped the goalie! Yes! Mission complete. I updated the uh, commands a little bit to have the new voice commands in there. I don't know if I got them all, though. I could have forgot a couple. But I think I got them all. <sighs> yeah, that one. I love that Captain Falcon noise voice. I'm gonna get another key the next time I rocket pass up. Me too. I, I got, got ten keys. Holy shit! And three decryptors. That'll pay for the next rocket pass. Dr. Mantis Toboggan. Yeah, it's uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's another TV show I've watched. No! These are, these are all shows that I watched. Oh, that's it. Like, streamed, not like actually watched on the. Uh, TV. Yeah. I couldn't imagine. That was a great pass. My eyeball. I've got stuff on my list to talk about, but I just don't feel like it anymore. It is a headache. No! Oh! Oopsies. Ah. No, I'm all off. Oh, I got bumped. What an absolute shit show it's been on our side. Yeah. Sloppy. In a span of like 10 seconds, like we all bumped each other. Fuck you. Mine. Oh! Up. That's it.
I typed uh, "banned Sunbro" into Mipha's chat when she was streaming, and she was like, "Oh, I, I gotta get, I gotta get uh, Ashton to tell me how to set that up because it's like my favorite thing in his stream. I really <laughs> want it." Oh, damn it. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to do. I have it for lick, too. You can lick people. But... I forgot about that. I haven't done that in forever. But people aren't. Uh, lewd enough to lick each other. I am. Oh, oh, in chat. Yeah. Yeah, that would be gross. That was one of the things that I would do to sometimes my, my close lady friends. Gross them out. <laughs> Walk up to them, just bleh. They'd be like, no! <laughs> See, look, Angel's licking me. Ooh, I feel it. On my clean shaft vagina. Oops, oopsie, I'll take that teammate. Let me just run into you more. These blocks! Oh, what a shot! Whoa, that angle! That angel! Oh, the blue angles. murdered you. <laughs> Absolutely killed me. <laughs> I did not murder him. <laughs> Why tell jokes when you can just make references to things? Yeah. We can make references to old jokes, too. Perfect. Easy Whew. peasy. Winning is fun. Let's try doing it in real life. I love winning. Oh, this song's great. No, that's not what I wanted. Everyone loves winning. Oops. Not when the prize is cancer. Congratulations, you've got lung cancer. Congratulations, it's a bill. I'm just a bill. I save. You get a lot more saves when you just cut in front of your own teammates. You clearly have it. Yeah. The ones that are sitting in net waiting to yeah. save things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty pro level strat. Oh, damn. Virus, you said everyone loves winning. Clearly, Orange Team doesn't. They just lost. If they loved winning so much, then why didn't they beat us? Good enough. 
they weren't good enough to like winning. Yeah, maybe if they liked winning more, they would have practiced. It would have gotten better. You know what? I like losing too because losing that that L is it's not for losing. It's for lesson. Oh. You learn a lesson every single time. Oh, I'm writing that down in my journal. In my lesson journal. I got that from one Wooly Madden of the former Super Best Friends play. Rest in peace. And then Red Bull copied it. And then Red Bull's like, hey, do you want a sponsorship now? Because <laughs> the guy drinks Red Bull all the time on his stream. <laughs> and then the guy's like, hell yeah. And they're like, wait, you drink Red Bull all the time on your stream. And you're not even followed to Red Bull? <laughs> you're not even following <laughs> us on Twitter? I think it is funny. Let me, just, let me just pass it right to that guy. Instead of hitting it the opposite direction. Do you follow any companies on Twitter? Oh, any yeah. Products? I don't... I Can you give an example? Uh, Nintendo. Um, Smash Brothers. Uh, You're doing that because, like, you care about, like, their updates and, like, the news related to that company, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, oh. couldn't reach it. Uh, so you're following those fast food companies because they're funny, right? Like the Wendy's and Arby's ones are like really funny. Is it would it would that be accurate, virus? You do it for the for the lols. Freaking Arby's has a a knockout cardboard cutman that works there. They make, they they like, cut out, um, picture. They cut out things out of their like, their product boxes, right? Their Arby's boxes, and they make, like, video game and anime references with them. Hmm. They'll have like, um, z like a Zelda reference. Like they'll have like the Master Sword made out of cardboard, or they'll have. That's cool. Um. Uh, ah! Murder me! I forget. I forget what. Uh, Gurren Logan, Logan. Gurren Gurren Logan, Logan. I don't remember how it's spelled. That doesn't help me pronounce it. The yeah. uh, reason I ask is because uh, even if I was a huge fan of Red Bull, I don't think I would just follow them on Twitter? Like, what What kind of, like, news do I need to get about Red Bull? Uh, well, they do a lot of esports shit, but... Um, okay, that makes I sense. Don't, <laughs> I don't... I mean, I don't care about, like... It's not like I need the news of a company. Um, necessarily. Like, there's just a lot of shit in Twitter in general. And the companies don't post that often. Uh, yeah, I was just curious why someone would follow a company on Twitter that they like their product. To show that they like their product or whatever. To show their Twitter followers that they like it? Twitter followers on the company. Ah, damn. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a dick or like, you know, you damn millennials. I'm just genuinely... Curious. Ooh, oh my god. How fast was that going? 78. Jesus. Because I pinched it. But I generally have to like something a lot for me to, like, a company to follow it on Twitter. Like, Zion's Energy 
I don't know if I followed them on uh, Twitter, but I did tweet at them. Damn, reverse goal. You still uh, tweeting the local police department? No. I hardly see their tweets anymore. I'm, I'm sparing them now. I'm sparing that nice lady that I met in real life. Uh, it's harder when there's a human face attached to it, huh? I, Things I, I, always get harder when you attach a human face to them. Especially a cute lady. Yeah. But no, I, I met her long before the trolling. <laughs> mm. I just really wanted to do some kind of like Texas Chainsaw Fuck. Massacre joke there about like attaching literal human faces instead of using it metaphorically. Oh. Damn, we're gonna lose this one. But I, I like winning. Teammate, teammate's been doing some weird stuff. Yeah, well, at least this teammate's still here. Get in there, get in there. I love that the past couple of years, the internet has become uh, invested in just wholesome shit. It's yeah. been like really, really kind of neat. And like, you know, there's also like, you know, suicide humor type stuff has been real popular as well, but it's got that undercurrent of like, we're all in this together and like feeling uh, kind of better about the shittiness together. And, and that ties into the wholesome stuff of just like, We're so, uh, so into... I was teammate in net. <laughs> I don't think so. You, you, it was when I looked back. I saw a green car that was behind us. Because, you know, we got our... We're, like, super sarcastic, and we've got our ironic humor and postmodern deconstruction of old stuff. But but it's, it's kind of cool to, to just be, like, you know, wholesomeness is not, like, lame. Like, it's okay to be... To just feel good about yourself and and I, I like that because you're in an online game yeah, I'm, I'm coming i'm coming coming right now yeah i mean that shit's nice I, I i i like the wholesome stuff i like the being an asshole kind of stuff like like dark humor yeah i, I like dark humor a lot it's just it's cool that there's been this kind of concerted like effort and in like at least on reddit or maybe just maybe just the bubble i'm in yeah it's, I don't, been, it's been kind of nice i don't get a lot of that wholesome stuff in my bubble the only like the most wholesome thing i get is like some twitch streams yo megadeth 23 with a hyphen and an underscore Oh, that double tap didn't go in, though. I just feel like a lot of the stuff that I've seen, like, like even from Twitter, not that I'm on Twitter, but, like, screenshots posted from Twitter, like, tweets that have gone viral because they've got a nice message. Please go in, please go in. Oh. Gone in. Too good. You like winning too much. Teammates got bad ping. Oh god. Oh oh oh. It's I think I see. For me. I think I see more bitching on Twitter than I see wholesome shit. But I don't know. I, I, yeah, obviously there's there's a whole bunch of awfulness on Twitter for sure. I just I just meant that like uh, there has also been like uh, simultaneously there's been kind of this appreciation of simple wholesome stuff about like feeling good about yourself and whatnot. T 
teammate with the okay. Oh no, that's not teammate. Never mind. We're not blue. I know what color we are. I just my main thing I like about the internet is Reddit because I have outlets for my hobby. And in like a like an instant community for the thing that you like is really yeah. cool. The nice thing about Twitter too is there's so many like Japanese uh, Gundam people on it. Fuck. So I get to see a lot of their stuff because they're not on Reddit really. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that if you want to see some Japanese uh, gunpla creators, you. Uh, Go on to Twitter, subscribe to a few people, bam, tons of retweets. Get to see some sick shit. I heard there's a lot of good loot shit on Twitter. Uh, is, there's some loot interested. accounts. There may or may not be uh, a uh, chatterbait girl that happens to live in my state that has a Twitter. Hmm, may or saying. may not. I'm not Damn, subscribed to her though, because I, I don't. I hope it's a May. Or followed or whatever. Subscribe to her on Twitter. Yeah. That's mainly because like I don't, I don't use my Twitter to follow like lewd shit. There's yeah. one. There's one guy. What a coincidence! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, he doesn't even know how Twitter works. I, I subscribe or, or whatever. Like I don't, I don't know how it works. She, may, maybe I do the the internet thing. Maybe, maybe it's, she's on Twitter. I don't. Know. Which one's the Twitter again? Hey, yeah, is that the is that the Google one? The uh, I don't, I don't do like the lewd shit on my Twitter though, because I want to. Like, yeah, that's a good idea. Use it for my stream basically work reasons mm. and uh there's one guy though that i'm following that every once in a while retweets like lewd shit and it's not like super lewd it's just like uh, there's there's like a drawing of a girl and there's a nip Gross. And, or like here's oh no. here's a uh, model kit and, uh, the chick's, like, or a figurine, and the chick's, you know, got some, like, thing over, her, a ribbon over her boobs, and that's about it. My like, god, fucking, just, no. Oh. What? Why? And it's like, it's like, he goes on a spree, <laughs> where he just likes a whole bunch of them. Yeah, it's gotten to where, uh, it's it's kind of a good idea to just have a second account on things yeah. for your loot stuff. I don't have that actually. I don't have any loot accounts. I've got a loot Reddit account. I've got a loot Rocket League account too. Mm, yeah. To look at your uh, Mrs. Avocado. <laughs> your sexy Miss Avocados. That's a that's a freaking emote, Miss Avocado in Kami's Discord. <laughs> nice. And I wonder if any of them know where it, what it's from. I don't know if any of them play Rocket League. There's some loot shit in Discord. Like, Discord has become very similar to Reddit in a way. Yeah. Just like communities banding together over things that they really like. Maybe I need a loot Discord account. Because it's also got, it's even got, oh, clutch save. Oh, we're up 3-1. Never mind. It was an okay save. 
uh, Discord's got like screen sharing, so you can see what they're looking at, and it's got you know uh, video chat as well. Re just recently, they added video chat. I can I can wink to the, what they're wanking to. Mm -hmm. Screen share, freaking webcam. They they have a video chat of you wanking it, and then you're screen sharing so you can see yourself. Wank, them wanking to you on their screen. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. I think I don't. I don't know if that's how it works. Maybe I don't know. I do. I like subscribe to their, their uh, yeah, wanking. Yeah, subscribed to or, it like, or something. I don't know. I hit that like button. I think I did. Is what happened. Quick Tango. Tango down. Oh, the Rainbow Six series. Back in the day, I was a huge fan. What? <laughs> he thought what? I was... It was like he was like scared of it. I was really slow. I was trying to shoot it to the side, and I just couldn't get my car oh, like, around. Why did he jump backwards? He got scared. He thought I was pounding it. Oh, yeah. That's what I do with my other Rocket League. Account. All right, out of here. I don't have any boost. Whoops. This team is discombobulated. No. Oh. trying to demo me. What are you doing? Ooh. Oh, you almost fucking scored that. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, 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 oh. I really maneuvered myself out of that sticky situation. No! Why no! Did, why, did, why did you stay in the corner? The goal was open. Fuck me. I can't. Oh, because he didn't score. That's why I can't. That chatterbait girl, though, that I was talking about, that may that or may, may not or exist? May not. Yeah, may not exist. Like, she's very strange because she's like, she's just. Her, her her streams are boring in the porn sense like she taught she, she's just like it they're almost like twitch IRL streams that sometimes she gets naked to <laughs> and so you're just like you're you're there for for the wanks and you're just like yeah but you're just talking a lot but you know what removing the sex thing she's she's really adorable like she's just cute <laughs> and so you just watch her I'm like oh, I like her She's great. Well, now I'm curious. I just I just watched her twit or or chatterbait. I mean, if she existed, you know, now I'd be curious. Colorado's a pretty common place for chatterbaiters, really. Oh damn. Really? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Uh, uh, There's something in the water. I always think maybe maybe I'll see her at the store, and be like, "Hey, I wa I've watched you wank before." I watch your streams. <laughs> thank for a stream. Thank for stream. Thank, th thank for wank. Thank for thank for wank. <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> I love it. Thank for wank. <laughs> oh, that tickles me. He almost bumped me into it and instead he bumped me away from it, so it didn't happen. Oh, that was bad. Just a bad hit. 
I was trying to do a quick pass back before that guy. Yeah, I was. I was hoping it. you would pass it back. It just went a little higher than I was expecting. Yeah, I tried to slow down, but. Oh, good one. Good. He got a, he got a little tiny tap right before it. I thought he was passing it to the other guy, so I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll get it. Nope. Tapped it back in. I gotta ask, Virus, uh, how do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> um, you, uh, you run the numbers on which states they, <laughs> they like to live in? <laughs> executive, uh, market analytics for, uh, Chatterbait. <laughs> Oh, no comment. <laughs> Sometimes you just hit the ball in the enemy goal. Enemy. <laughs> yeah, it's our it's our enemy. The enemy. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying, Chiu. We're really trying, but we're not doing it very well. It's kind of an off day. <laughs> How many times have you Googled where? Where do the most chatterbait people live? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chatterbait people in my neighborhood. Oh. That's all right, no result. All right. Well, let's expand it a little bit. My city. Nope, all right. Ah, oh, that was a bad pinch. Oh, that's a good thing is it the last game. I'm I'm losing it. The neurons aren't firing anymore. I kind of just quit carrying, really. Quit, quit carrying. Yeah, I'm still kind of carrying. You are, so you are still carrying, and I, I appreciate it. That oh, was awesome! Damn. And of course, it doesn't go in. That was a great one too. I feel like near me means your city and the surrounding ones. Well, hold on, you gotta you gotta start small. Yeah. Like, what if there's one are, in the neighborhood? Are they, are they in my room right now? Yeah. How, how many are in my room? Currently? Chatterbaiters in my room right now. Result one. All right, wait. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> <laughs> get a little drib drab at the end. Hey, we only lost by one. That's respectable. Let me let me get out of the way so you can get your strem on. I can get my bloodborne on and I'm gonna grab some food. Fail in that game. What are we talking, what are you about? talking about? You're doing a great job. Uh, uh we're you not beat that about... boss in like three or four tries. That dude looked real hard. No, we're not talking about anything, Chiu. We don't talk about things. We're not talking about the website chatterbait.com. Don't worry about it. Uh, I will be rooting for you in chat later, Gator. Later, some bro. Alleg alligator. Dot com. Yes, or dot, dot com. Okay, I'm, I'm going to BRB. I hope you're doing well, though, Chew. How are you doing? I don't think you answered that. Or I, I don't think I asked that either. I don't know what happened. Okay, I'm going to burp. 